so you want to know how to hide your big flabby arms. Okay, we're going to go there, but really we're just going to talk about how to dress beautifully if maybe your arms aren't your best feature, but you still want to look great. Hello, welcome to today's video. Ladies, I am so glad that you joined me, but I have to tell you, people have been asking for this particular video for some time and I've just not wanted to go there. And why? Because I don't like my own arms. <laughs> And that's just the truth of the matter. Now, most of the time I'm wearing a jacket on here because I need something to attach my microphone to. I do go places and, and of course wear outfits where I'm not wearing a jacket. But then again, when I want to look my really my best, I do tend to hide my arms with a jacket of some sort. So let me tell you, I am one person who's like an expert on this as far as like, I understand, I get it. I, I can, you know, empathize with you. And I recently polled uh, women on my Instagram account asking, hey, do you like your arms? Do you not like your arms? Or do you like, maybe not like them, but you're just like, okay with it, you don't really care. And surprisingly, well, maybe not so surprisingly, most of the people who responded to the survey said, no, they didn't like their arms and they wanted to hide them in some way. And I get it. That's, like I said, that's pretty much me too. But another large percentage said that they didn't really like their arms, but they're over it. They just don't care. And here's what happens kind of on, on these dates in April and May, as we're leading up to summer, I'm generally like, okay, what can I do to disguise my upper arms? Because I, I have kind of big upper arms and then also they're bumpy. They're bumpy and have kind of red splotches. <laughs> they're not pretty. They're just not pretty and smooth and attractive looking. And so whether that's your situation or they're just flabby or, or whatever, or maybe your arms are so skinny. I, I know some women actually responded and said their arms were too skinny. So, you know, whatever your situation is, I get it. But I do think maybe we need to start shifting more towards, so what, I don't like my arms a whole lot, but what can I do to maybe accentuate the positives and so that people don't really notice the negatives or what I consider to be a negative. And as, as I was saying, during March, April, May, I'm kind of all into the let's disguise this situation. By June, I'm like, what the hey? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and bare my arms. And so then I'm all for what's the best way to bare my arms and for them to not look as unattractive as I think they do. Now, you know, through this, I'm going to give us a little positive self-talk because I do think that we all need to be really careful to not feed our insecurities, but instead build some confidence. And so I want to give us some tips for dealing with arms that maybe we don't really like a whole lot that would help us to dress in a way that builds confidence instead of feeding our insecurities. I think that's so important, ladies, even over 50. Here we are, over 50. Some of you are over 60, I'm 60. You're over 70 and we have these insecurities and we've got to stop that because here's why we don't want to breed those same insecurities in our daughters and our granddaughters, do we? We want to help them to be confident women. And so we've got to build a little confidence in this area ourselves. That said, I'm not going to preach anymore. Let's get on with the tips for how to dress if you don't really feel comfortable with your arms, whether they are too big, like mine are, they're flabby, you got that little wingy thing going on, or maybe they're crepey, or they're too skinny. I don't know, I don't know. So, or maybe like me, you've got some red blotchy bumps on your arms and you don't really want to show those too. Whatever, I've got some tips for you. These are in no particular order, but we're going to get going because I have so many. We're going to run through them fast. The first thing you might want to do, especially in the spring and summer, is wear sleeves with lightweight fabric. You don't want anything just, just real heavy that's going to cling to your arms and build even more bulk, of course. So when you do want to go, uh, not like short sleeved, you want to go short sleeve, maybe wear some lightweight fabric is really going to help. But at the same time, you want to wear uh, sleeves and clothes all together that fit your body. It's really important. Sometimes when we start focusing so much on trying to conceal a part of our body, trying to hide it or trying to minimize it, we just try to like wear something big and baggy all over or in that place. 
so that it just, you know, it's just really hidden really well. But when we do that, especially with our sleeves, we, we, we could create a monster, so to speak. Instead, you really do want to wear sleeves that fit you. You want to wear things that fit you in the shoulder seam. I think that's really important. If it has a shoulder seam, then that shoulder seam needs to hit you at the right place. It doesn't need to be hanging over or it doesn't need to be up on your shoulder because that's just going to draw focus to your arm and to that, that upper part of your arm. So you don't want to do that. So you also, of course, don't want to wear anything too tight, but you don't want to wear things that are too loose, too big, too baggy. That's not going to be helpful. Now, if you do want to wear a short sleeve, because see, I'm just, I'm all for wearing short sleeves, going sleeveless and everything with your, your arms, no matter what you think they look like. Okay. So I'm going to help us do that. Um, I'm going to give us some tips for hiding them too, but let's, if you want to go sleeveless, you want to wear a short sleeve, what do you do? So if you want to wear short sleeves, then just wear some that don't hug your arm or they definitely some that don't cut off your arm. Like you had that little indentation there, you know, you don't want that. So you want something that either lays really smoothly and soft on your arm, or even preferably you want something that stands away from your arm just a little bit. There just needs to be a little distance between the fabric of the sleeve and your arm. So for instance, in this white t-shirt, this is just an old t-shirt from my closet that I have. I have it in my closet, but it is not doing me any favors here because it is snug. It's not snug, but it just, you know, it's just clinging to my arm and it's also hitting in a really bad place. So that's the next tip is you don't want a sleeve that hits you, you know, the ends at your widest part of your arm. If your issue is a large upper arm, then you don't want that sleeve hemline to hit you at your widest point and going straight across that. Because remember, horizontal lines, they widen. And so all that's doing is widening my arm. The fact that it's snug on my arm is widening my arm. It's just drawing focus to it. Instead, wear a t-shirt with a little bit of room there, a little bit of room, you know, in that sleeve there. It, and, you know, it can be a, just the same kind of t-shirt, solid white t-shirt, but a little bit of room is really going to help. Another option, and I don't think I have one to show, is to wear a clear or, you know, a sheer, sheer, <laughs> sheer or lacy uh, short sleeve. So that can just, first of all, look really beautiful and sheer fabric is really on trend right now. And, you know, I'm personally not one for wearing something that's just all sheer, <laughs> but if you wear like a pretty top that has a sheer sleeve or some sheer places on it, I think that's really tasteful and beautiful. And a sheer sleeve is actually going to make your arms look a little small because there you got the sleeve, the blousiness of the sleeve in your arm is, you can see the arm in there and it's not touching the fabric. So it just kind of makes it look almost like it's smaller in there. And it's just really lovely and beautiful. So it's a beautiful way to wear a short sleeve um, tastefully, beautifully, and to not accentuate the size of your arms. Instead, makes them actually look a little smaller and really very dainty and feminine. Another great option for a short sleeve that might work for you is to wear one with a diagonal um, hemline. So one that hits you kind of diagonally. And there's all sorts of shirts that do this. Um, as you can tell, if I don't have anything to model, I'm just showing you some images here of things that I'm finding online right now in uh, retailers, websites. And so I'll link those below. I'm numbering them and I'll link them below. But here are just some options of sleeves that hit diagonally. And that can be really lovely because a diagonal line actually minimizes. It's going to make your arm look a little bit smaller, uh, you know, depending on how you're looking and somebody's looking at you. <laughs> but it's, it's really going to be a nice option for a lot of us. Of course, another option is a short sleeve that flutters. So that fluttery sleeve, once again, one that has some room in there. Also, this is going to be really cool. It's going to feel good on you. It's kind of almost going to feel like a sleeveless top but it's a little flutter sleeve. Now, I think what you have to be careful with here is if you get too much flutter going on, and especially if, let's say, you're an apple shape or an oval-shaped woman, you're, that's your body shape, then that's just going to add a lot of bulk. Also, if you are what we call an H or a rectangle shape, once again, going to add a lot of bulk. If you've got wide shoulders, that's going to add a lot of bulk. So that's not going to work for everybody. In fact, I would say that none of these are suggestions are going to work for everybody. So pick and choose those that work for you. But if you get a flutter sleeve, you know, think about the, the width, the length of it. So you could get one that's a little higher. You could get one mid-length, one that goes down to your elbow. And really what you want to do is take into consideration your body shape and your proportions. Those, both of those things are going to be really important when you're considering this particular kind of sleeve that could adapt a little bit for your wide upper arm. 
Now, one of my favorite options, though, is a dolman sleeve. And here I'm wearing this beautiful silk blouse that I showed last week from Lily Silk is, is a great option. So it's a beautiful silk blouse. And you notice the way that the dolman sleeve, dolman sleeve is simply one that goes all the way from the neckline to the hemline of the sleeve with no interruption, no seam line. So the sleeve is like built into the bodice of the dress or the shirt and there is no seam there. And it just kind of really hangs nicely off of the side of the body. Some people call these bat wing sleeves. So they have a lot of looseness in them, a lot of give, making your arm look a little smaller underneath there because you have so much nice room and everything. And it just doesn't accentuate the, the, you know, the bulk of your arm that way. You can get these that are shorter, like this one from Lily Silk, or you can get some that are longer. So here is a jumpsuit from Everlane that also has a dolman sleeve. And I think it's a dolman sleeve, it may have a seam, but, but it has that same effect. So it really hangs off of the side of the body very nicely and it goes to the elbow. So that one, it might, you know, with something like that, not necessarily telling you to buy these pieces, you can if you want to, but I'm just saying a sleeve that does like that can really help to conceal your arms and still make you look really beautiful. Because you know, ladies, that's the goal too. We're not just trying to hide our body. We want to look beautiful in our clothes. We want to feel confident in our clothes and to feel also cool and fresh, of course, as we're in spring and summer. So we're not just trying to conceal everything we're trying to make choices where we can look beautiful things that work well for our body shape and proportions but also work nicely with our unique variations that's what I like to call things that we maybe think are little they're not our favorite features those are our unique variations it may be a large bosom it may be you know big arms it may be chunky knees you know whatever it is we all have them we all have those things and we can learn to kind of make some unique little adaptations for those unique variations so that we look and feel our best. Another option is to wear a lightweight shirt or jacket over your um, a, a sleeveless top even. So of course here I'm wearing a, a, a tank top and I've just added a very lightweight linen shirt. And this is why I wear a lot of linen shirts in the summer and in the spring, but um, it's mainly really in the summer. I, I find that linen uh, it keeps me really cool and comfortable. I don't sweat in it. I feel really good. Even in a long sleeve shirt uh, over a tank top really feels really great to me, especially if you're inside and there's air conditioning and all. But even if you go outside a little bit, I, I find it works really nicely. And of course, so that's definitely an option. But if you do that, here's another step to take is I definitely suggest you roll those sleeves up a little bit, not just so you'll be cool, but also so that you bear your wrist. I supposed to say bear your ankles. <laughs> That's not your ankles. Bear your wrist, because as you bear your wrist, just as I have even today with this blazer, it just accentuates the thinner part of your arm, which is your wrist. Now, personally, I don't even think my wrists are all that thin, <laughs> but, it, but they're definitely thinner than my upper arm. So bearing your wrist is just a great way. You got some bones here, you know, and then just, you know, it's just the pre when a pretty part of a woman's body. And so showing a little bit of wrist will really help compensate for the fact that you are wearing long sleeves. Of course, you could roll these sleeves up as long as you want to, all the way up to your elbow or whatever. And if that works for you, if you can get them up there, I can't even get mine up that high. But uh, if you can do that, just roll them up a little bit. First of all, it adds some interest to that sleeve. It also bears the wrist and it gives you the opportunity to wear some pretty jewelry. And that's actually another tip is to wear some pretty jewelry that will draw attention away from the parts of your body that you don't want to accentuate. So if you're not wanting to really show a whole lot of your arms, you're not wanting to draw attention to your upper arms or maybe your elbows or whatever, then wear some pretty wrist jewelry, some pretty bracelets, rings that draw the focus there. Another third piece you can wear though, instead of a shirt or a blazer, especially in the summer, 
is a kimono. Now, I know our kimono, duster, I, I hear all kinds of names. Ruana is another name. It kind of always depends on what that retailer calls this piece, but it's just that loose, drapey piece. Mine that I'm showing you here is from Johnny Waz about three years ago. It's silk and it's reversible. It is lovely. I know they have some similar to it now, but it is an investment piece. But you know what? That's okay. It's the only one I have in my closet, and this is the one I wear over and over because it is reversible. But you don't have to invest that much in them. You can find them so much more less expensive, and I'll show you several here. But wearing a pretty kimono like this is just a great answer in my book because you can wear it over a tank top, and it's very cool and breezy. Mine is silk. You can also get them in linen or gauze or cotton. Of course, some natural fabric is really going to serve you well and it can look so beautiful and so feminine. Now let's think about some other things though, because it's not just a matter of what kinds of sleeves to wear for short sleeves or wearing a jacket or a shirt like this over your arms. But another thing to consider, actually you might be surprised at, are the other parts of your top or your dress. So first of all, let's think about the neckline. Did you know that a V-neck or even an open button you know, up shirt like this is going to draw more focus to your face? It's actually gonna open up your face a whole lot and draw the focus there and it keeps the focus away from your arms. So, you know, you could wear a short sleeve top, even a sleeveless top, but if it has a nice opening at the neckline, either a scoop neck or a V-neck that really opens up this area a little bit, I think you might find that that really works for you. Now, I know what's gonna happen is somebody's gonna say, well, but I don't like my neck either. I don't like my chest. I don't like, you know, the air around my, around my I got all these wrinkles. You know what, ladies, it's okay. We are over 50. We're all getting older together. We're doing this together. We've all got some wrinkles. We've all got some age spots. I get it, I do too. But trust me, it's still better to show some of your neckline than to try to hide everything. When you open up your neckline, you also see uh, your clavicle. Your, so you see that little bony area. It's actually just one of the most feminine, beautiful parts of a woman. Even if you don't think that's true of you, because see, I don't think it's true of me, but I'm just gonna go on what they tell me and I'm gonna believe it and I'm gonna gain some confidence and I'm gonna walk out in confidence because I'm just gonna believe it's true. So open up that neckline, wear a pretty V-neck, wear something pretty, a scoop neck or something like that, and it will draw the focus away from your arms and to your face. It's not gonna draw the focus to your chest, okay? It draws the focus to your face. It's like a light that radiates onto your face. And another thing you wanna do but that has nothing to do with your arms so much is you want to accentuate your waist. So if you, for instance, wear, let's say a sleeveless dress, you want, you're gonna go bold and you're gonna wear a sleeveless dress. If you will take a belt and cinch that waistline in at your, dre at your dress and just kind of you know, accentuate that waistline a little bit, you're gonna put a little bit of space between your waistline and your arm. And when you do that, it actually is going to make your arms look smaller, more delicate. So I know that's kind of a trade-off because maybe you're thinking, well, I don't want to accentuate my waistline. <laughs> You know what, the truth is I've just found that if we, a lot of times the things that we think are our worst features and we shouldn't accentuate them, if you'll just play around with it, you've got to accentuate something, you have to. Uh, you, you have to decide on some things that you like about your body and don't tell me you don't have anything. There's got to be something about you that you love, that you like at least. What do other people say that they love about you? Learn to accentuate something, whether it's your ankles or your wrist or your neckline or your waistline or you know something, your eyes. And, and sometimes, ladies, it's not a matter of like if I, well, I want to accentuate my eyes, I think, okay, well, I just wear some eyeshadow. No, there's more actually wearing some lipstick accentuates your eyes more than wearing eyeshadow. And wearing an open neckline also accentuates your eyes because like I said, it's like a spotlight on your face that you know draws the focus up to your face. So it, Things are not always quite as they seem. I guess that's the bottom line. They're just not always quite as they seem. So trust me on this one. Accentuate your waist, wear something that's fitted in the bodice, in the waistline, and it will actually make your arms look a little smaller. 
Okay, I've already mentioned wearing a scoop neck or a V-neck or some kind of open neck. Another great thing to do is to wear a pretty necklace. Now today I'm wearing kind of a little dainty necklace, but here you can see I'm wearing a beautiful jeweled necklace. This is a Julie Voss. Uh, necklace. I just love it. And it adds a splash of color there. It looks rich and beautiful. I mean, it is a attention grabber, right? Wouldn't you say that? So if you wear an attention grabbing necklace there, it is really going to draw the focus away from your arms and to that place, which then radiates up to your face, especially if you also wear some pretty earrings that maybe coordinate you put on a little bit of makeup, a lipstick, you know, something like that, it's really going to draw the focus away from your arms. Let's talk about those of us who decide, you know what, maybe like I said, not this month or the next month, but by the middle of the summer, you're like, ah, okay, I'm ready to go sleeveless. And, uh, or maybe you've just decided, you know what, I don't particularly care for my arms, but I'm just going for it. Then here are a few tips. First of all, you absolutely can wear a tank top uh, you can go sleeveless, but there is a kind that is going to serve you better. And that is one that actually comes in on the shoulder a little bit. So here I'm showing you a pink tank top that is like a racer back tank top. So in the back there, you see how it's, you know, it, it goes, you know, together and it does, it just kind of scoops in at the shoulders a little bit. So it doesn't sit on the outside of my shoulder. It sits more towards the inside of my shoulder. What that does is it shows more of the shoulder, more of the body there where the shoulder connects to your body. And that actually makes your arms look smaller in comparison. So just showing a little bit more shoulder is really going to help you if you feel like your arms are really large. You know, so that's a great, that, I mean, that tip really saved me a few years ago when I was just like, I, I just got to like, I don't want to wear sleeves. And that has been a game changer for me. Now, I still don't like think I look my very best in a tank top, but that has really worked for me. So pick your tank tops carefully, pick one that shows more of your shoulder. Another thing you can do surprisingly is to wear an off the shoulder top. Now I don't have any to show you because I'm still working towards this one. <laughs> you know, we all have our insecurities. This is one of mine. I don't even think my shoulders are all that great. So I haven't done this, but definitely I, I see it. I know it's true. If you wear an off the shoulder top, either one shoulder off the shoulder or both shoulders off the shoulder, it accentuates once again, that clavicle, and that whole neck, the decolletage area, and it draws the focus away from your arms. And especially if you can find a shirt that maybe has some flounces that, you know, that hang down on your arms, or like a ruffly sleeve there that hangs down on your arms, that's really gonna camouflage that area and it's gonna accentuate your shoulders because it looks so beautiful. Okay, now I'm just gonna show you what I'm actually wearing today. I think I already referenced it once, but I'm wearing this little cap sleeve top here and it's, you know, like I said, a cap sleeve cannot, can be a not good thing, especially if it's one that sits right on your arm, that's just going to accentuate the size of your upper arm, but a flowy little fluttery one like this, I think works nicely. And you know, that just brings me to my concluding point, ladies, and that is this, guess what? You're going to go to all this trouble and you're going to wear the kimono over your tank top, or you're gonna wear just the right tank top so that, uh, it shows more shoulder and it doesn't cut you at the wrong place. Are you going to wear a short sleeve that either hits at the elbow or that's fluttery sleeve so that it doesn't hit you tight across the arm? And here's the truth. Nobody else is even going to notice. They're not. <laughs> They're not going to notice. Because if you go out to the mall today and you walk around, you go shopping a little bit or you go um, somewhere like, you know, really fun, like out to dinner or something, or you go to the nail salon and you're getting your nails done. Do you notice other people's arms? I don't, I really don't. And usually if I do, it's like after I've just stared at them because I thought, oh, what a beautiful woman or what a happy woman or what a confident woman. And then I've, I've looked and looked and looked long enough to then notice a few of her imperfections because we all have them but I don't see someone's large arms or thick ankles or, you know, oversized bosom or anything else like that when I first notice them, especially if they have a smile on their face, they look confident and they look happy. And so, you know, I really want to encourage us all, me too. I am preaching to me 
because like I said, I don't like my arms, especially my upper arms. And as I get older, I don't like my lower arms <laughs> and my elbow. But um, I, I also though want to be more than a woman with beautiful arms. I want to be a confident, happy woman. Uh, one that spreads a little joy and that puts other people at ease. So I'm encouraging you and me to focus and to accentuate the positives, to go ahead and learn a few skills for wearing the clothes that we enjoy, and then to get out there and just, just go and just put it behind us and just get out there and, and do our best, look our best, and be confident with the bodies that we have. All right, ladies, I hope I haven't stepped on any toes. I hope I've given, given you some encouragement and some tools to use. If you enjoyed today's video, you got anything out of it at all, <laughs> give me a thumbs up on your way out. That really helps my channel. Share it with a friend or two, someone who complains about her, her arms or whatever. Share this video. I hope you'll do that. Share it on your Facebook account. That would be great too. And I will see you again next Wednesday. Bye now.